Yeah, 5.35 kilos on the side of your head. Feet. This is a cool workout because you've got a peanut head, so uh, it's all proportion. Hopefully nothing too rude in here, but let's get cracking. Probably easiest is for me to show you. Lean back and your feet. This is a cool workout, Jesus. Your feet are about, oh my God, so uncomfortable. Your feet are higher than your bum. So in the race, our feet actually go really quite disgusting and they get hot and sweaty. So imagine you've been sat in a pool, just your feet for an hour and a half. Imagine how white and pale and disgusting your feet look. That's how they look like after a race, so not a good sight. Imagine if you're driving your road car and you slam on the brakes and you feel your body flying forward. That is G-force. Whereas when we're braking, we're producing about 5G. This is always really quite heavy on our necks because our head and our neck is exposed. So you go around the corner, your body's locked in and your head is trying to fly off into the distance. One rep max for my neck would be 55 kilos. People measure it in different ways, but I can hold 55 kilos. I think, and then my, my duration is, I think, 35 kilos for three minutes so uh yeah 5.35 kilos on the side of your head for three minutes i've got a big head so my neck doesn't look that big but danny ricardo looks like he's got a big neck because he's got a peanut head so uh it's all proportion so jeremy clarkson described this once on top gear saying if you go around a corner and you go too quick and you're going to crash into a wall understeer is when that you turn and the car goes straight and you crash into the wall with the front of your car and oversteer is when you turn and you spin and you crash into the wall with the back of your car so understeer is when the front slides oversteer is when the back slides the answer is absolutely not so if you hear a driver maybe ranting or it's been shown on the TV and it seems a little bit out of nowhere. There's a lot of context. The TV like to choose the, the juiciest ones to show you, but yeah, most drivers are talking at least once a lap to their team. On a qualifying lap, you don't blink at all. There's so much focus on the road ahead of you. Whereas in a race, I actually try and actively blink on the straights because otherwise you just sat there and your eyes get so dry. So. Uh, Probably on average, three times a lap. So the green tires are the intermediate tires. So Pirelli have five colors. White are the hard tires, so the hard compound. Medium is in yellow and the soft tire is red. But the green tire is the intermediate tire and you've got the blue tire, which is the full wet tire. I thought he was going to say something else there. <laughs> no, there's no drainage purely for aerodynamics. So, yeah, you did get wet. Is that raining? I don't think so. Just wet. DRS is what we call the drag reduction system. So the best way to describe it is imagine we're driving down the straight with a parachute on our back. That's effectively what the, the big rear wing is. It's like a big parachute which pushes the car to the ground, but it makes you slow in the straight. So we click a button on our steering wheel, the parachute effectively opens and the air isn't being stuck against the wing anymore and allows you to drive faster down the straight. So it's sort of deploying the parachute and removing the parachute. So behind our seat, we have this plastic bag and a tube goes around our seat, over our shoulder, in our helmet. If it doesn't work, you go thirsty. Track limits is not a good thing. So it's different everywhere we go. Some circuits, the runoff is tarmac, which allows the driver to gain an advantage. So that's why they enforce track limits. If you exceed the white line, you'll be penalized. Well, I leave that to your imagination. So, um, but to be honest, as soon as the engine started and you're racing, you kind of forget all about it. 
And I think it'd be pretty difficult to pee your pants at 200 miles an hour, but I, I don't know. I'll have to ask somebody else. <laughs>